Hi everyone, it's William from Meta Board. Today I'd be very excited to introduce our EBS Insight to you. We have launched the EBS, EBS Pro and EBS 3 in the past 8 months. And uh, especially for the EBS 3, the True Rich Color upgrade has won a lot of praise from customers all over the world. So, what is Insight technology? And what is the difference between Insight and Onsight? And why does EBS InCell stand out from others? Follow me to reveal the secret in depth. Okay, there are two different screens on the table. One is InCell and the, the other one is OnSell. Let's take a look and start with the OnSell screen. Now let's choose on sale screen to demonstrate what a screen contains. Let's start with uh, uh, front glass. Okay. Here is the front glass we use every day. And behind the glass is a digitizer panels. And uh, here is a flex. To limit them together, we need a, an OCA glue films all right and now it's the uh, polarized films this one was mostly used uh, uh, on the lcd screen uh, you know to make sure people can capture most of lights from the lcd displays we need the polarizer films on on it uh, even in the very strong sunlight uh, and with sunglass you can see straight straightly to the LCD display. And now we go to the other core parts of LCD screen, uh, the LCD display modules. This one is a LCD display module, and uh, you know the quality determine most the how good a screen will be. And uh, behind it, it's the LCD backlight. All LED screen, Light itself, but for TFT LCD screens, we need a backlight to offer the light source to it. And uh, inside the backlight, the ESR films play a very important role. A good ESR film will reflect over 98% of light to the LCD module, while poor quality ESR films we lose light and the screen will be very dark. This one actually is an IFOG assembly. What, what is the IFOG assembly? It contains the LCD module and uh, uh, a back, the backlight. Now you, we see that there is a connector here and we see the backlight connector here. So the LCD module and the backlight was connected with this. And uh, after all parts limited together, we can use the plastic frames to make them together. After the lamination and the full front assembly will be completed. Let's check on sale screen firstly. This one is on sale screen from the glass. We can see clearly behind the front glass there is a digitizer flex inside it. And the, the, here it's a pending connectors uh, waiting for soldered. Soldered with display LCD module with here that simulates the assembling process. Okay. That's it here. After soldering, the LCD assembly will be
completed with both functions of touch and display. But to assemble, assemble them together, we need another layer OC glues to put them together. So there are extra layers of films. That's it. Because the touch function is uh, assembled on the from the glass. When you test the LCD module, the touch misses. So let's take a look. Now it's in serotonin. The first difference we see is from the glass. It has no flex or any film on it. Also the LCD screen. We see that the flex is two in one flex. It has embedded with the LCD screen, the touch functions. So there is no extra pending connectors and uh, only one connectors. This, this will lead to more stable performance of touch function. Now let's test the in-cell screen. Screen light up, very beautiful colors. Wow, touch works. Okay, 3D touch works very fast, very good. Now let's test the touch function. Also very fast and very accurate. Let's test the keyboard. Very good. Okay, now we know that the key difference is that the digitizer panel belongs to the front glass or embedded in the LCD screens. Uh, okay, with, with, with this design, the in-cell technology brings much, much stable touch functions because there are no extra soldering jobs need to do. And uh, without the extra OCA glues inside this and without, uh, without extra digital flags and panels here, actually it's, it's, it's uh, less two layers. So it makes the in cell technology make this screen much brighter and uh, much thinner. Let's take uh, a test on how much thickness they are. It's uh, just a simulation, but we can know the difference roughly. All right. The thickness goes to 3.35. Okay. And with the in-cell screens, The thickness goes to 3.12. It's much thinner, very obvious. Another big problem for on cell screen is that they have no recycling value. Once the screen damaged, it's very hard to replace glass separately because the uh, digital flex was assembled on the glass and it's very easy to break it. But with the in cell screen, which applies same technology with the originals. You can replace front glass separately and don't worry to damage the touch function inside it because it has embedded in the LCD screen. So it's worth more on recycling and the refurbishment. In a word, inside technology is more advanced than on cell screens. It has more stable touch functions, 2-in-1 flex, flex cable, 
and better LCD display, much brighter and thinner. Uh, also, it has high recycling values. That's why inside technology is is much better than on-site screens. EBS Insel is the fourth generation EBS screens. It has OEM level brightness, comfortable light for human eyes, and true rich color. No matter which angles you see the screen, it has the same color, and it can pass the sunglass test with hydrophobic coatings. Generally speaking, aftermarket screen quality was improved hugely in the whole market. But the EBS is still very outstanding of others because we use original 3M SR films and original Nito APCF films. Both of them are Apple authorized supplier, especially Nito APCF polarizer films. It improves not only brightness of the LCD but also 50% diagonal refracted light. With this great innovation, we assure customers watch the same vision no matter which angles you see our screens. Okay, let's check our EBS itself screens. Here it is. Here we have our own stamp EBS in, and you see the years and months. Okay, now let's simulate the installation process. Three D touch works good, and let's test the touch functions and check the icons again. Works very good. Let's check the pure color page. The white color and the gray color. They're both with the OEM level. And the black goes blacker. Let's go to the setting page. We see that the color temperature is very comfortable for human eyes. And uh, you can see that this, these colors are very rich and very colorful. Okay, let's install the other in-cell screens on the market and check the quality. Okay, let's set both screens to the highest brightness. The left one is DBS in sale and the red one is uh, in sale on the market. Let's compare with them with some beautiful pictures. It's very clear that EBS InCell is much brighter. Also, the colors is rich. It's comfortable and vivid. Our RD department works very closely with the factory to make sure it works and uh, with great colors. We can see with every details, the color is very good and bright. For this one, it's a little, a little dark. Also, the colors is much beautiful than other in sale on the market. Wow, what a beautiful parrot! It's great. We can see the difference with this dark LCD. The red become a little black, and with the EBS in sale, it's much brighter. A lot of customers praise our EBS3, EBS in sale because they like the color mostly. You may think that both in sale screen are, are acceptable. So uh, that's okay, but what if we do some in depth test again? Let's choose two colors, two pictures, and the colors compare both screens. The left one is in sale, EBS in sale. And the red one is the other in sales on the market. 
Okay, let's take a look at the front view. From the top to the bottom, they both display well. And from the left to right, okay, a little bit difference, but not obvious. What about the diagonal angles? Wow, we see big difference right now. The other Incel has a very big color difference. It changes a lot. The blue colors become a little purple and the blacker, the black color has become a little gray. So what if we change the positions? The red one is EBS Incel right now. Whoa, with this we see huge difference right now. EBS Incel relied with the NITO APCF. It always keeps the same color display. It's very beautiful. Let's change to another picture to take a look. All right, this one is EBS Incel. Let's take a look. Both seems good, but very clearly, EBS Incel is much brighter. Okay, let's check the diagonal angles. Whoa, we see big difference again. And let's change the position. Now the left one is EBS Incel. We see. Also very big color difference. So that's the key difference between EBS Incel and the other difference. If other Incel screens, if you see from the front view, both seems fine. But if you see with the diagonal angles, it tells the truth. Many companies in the market declare they have full view screens, but it's not true. Only EBS screen can pass so strict test, and it's an exclusive advantage we have. Okay, friends, if you are not satisfied with your current screens, if you are looking for better quality to satisfy your high-class customers, if you are looking for best combination of quality and price, please choose EBS Inset and EBS Screen. EBS Screen only available in electronic. Welcome to inquiry and you visit us.